Hey guys, let's have a look at Debian 12. Now, I hadn't planned on making an installation video. I had it installed maybe a month ago and have been playing around with it on and off. It and the default desktop it comes with, XFCE, have really grown on me. So here are some of my thoughts. I should say, I have customized the desktop quite a bit with custom themes and icons, and I really like how it turned out. XFCE has this nice little categorized menu, which lists all the applications. This being Debian, there's quite a few applications you probably won't see on other distros, but that's the beauty of customization. Speaking of which, let's start off with customizations on the XFCE panel. At first glance, it is a bit old school, but surprisingly powerful. This seemed a bit cumbersome at first, but I soon got used to it. The Items tab lets you add and remove elements onto the panel. Everything from widgets, to menus, to shortcuts, and you can just drag them around to arrange them. It has quite a few elements you can add to the panel. By default, the panel just has a few shortcuts and the date widget. But as you can see, I've made mine look quite Windows XP-esque. Let's try adding another widget to the panel. So, a battery percentage widget looks okay. XFCE and all its elements and add-ons look almost like a lightweight version of GNOME. They are not always as polished, but tend to make up in terms of the customizations they offer. Let's get rid of that widget. The panel can also be customized in terms of its color and if it's in light mode or dark and a few other properties. Look at some of the theming and appearance options XFCE and Debian come with. I was pleasantly surprised, probably because I wasn't actually expecting much, but let's see. I'll open up the file browser so we can see how things look when we switch. Typically on something like GNOME, you would need to install an app or extension to get this sort of control. It comes with a number of themes and icons, and amazingly enough, you can just install new themes with the add button. This made me feel like a kid on Christmas morning. The themes can just be straight up downloaded from something like Gnome Look. Just browse to the file archive and voila! Theme installed. Let's also have a quick look at Thunar, which is the XFCE file manager. I will say, I have always loved Thunar and the nice balance it strikes between customizations and feeling more lightweight than something like Nautilus or Dolphin. If you are a Linux Mint user, it's a lot more similar to Nemo, but maybe a bit rough around the edges. Next on the list, and let's give a quick round of applause to the OG graphical package manager, Synaptek. It's probably more than 20 years old by now, and unlike other app managers or app centers, which distros like Ubuntu and Linux Mint ship with, it is pretty powerful, and shall we say, comprehensive? I mean, seriously, this looks like the longest category tree in the world. Now, you won't get reviews or screenshots of the application like you would with other software installers on other distros, but you can visit the app's homepage and read about it. I think Synaptek is, in some ways, very Debian-like. It's a robust and solid package management tool for a gigantic repository of applications. It's not exactly unfriendly, but I would not recommend it for users who are just starting off with Linux. This was probably the reason I decided to do this video. Just the sheer fun there is in tinkering and installing obscure applications you won't find on your typical desktop Linux. One final thing I wanted to go over was XFCE's Window Manager app, which lets you modify the appearance of the window decoration and some other properties. Now I do have a window theme installed, but I was able to adjust other things like where the close and maximize buttons show and the alignment of the title. 
This ability to customize the desktop to look and act like I want is what I like most of about Debian. Not everything has been smooth sailing though, I should say. The Bluetooth and Wi-Fi management tools have been a bit sketchy for me, but I don't mind that. Debian feels very stable while also giving me room to tinker, which is what I most love about Linux. A lot of other distros as of late are more Windows and Mac, like where they're almost locked down, but Debian still feels well open. And we also have this cool little roll-up feature of the window manager that I really miss with new versions of GNOME. Well guys, hope you liked this quick run through. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time.